going to cover a, a topic that's quite important in the Philippines, and that is basically driving, um, or being a pillion passenger, or being a passenger in any other vehicle. We'll just cover the sort of things that go on. So what we've got here is we've just had a motorcyclist undertake. You just had a car that broke without reason, which is very likely that the bus at the front here, this blue bus, caused the congestion completely uh, by stop for a passenger and not bothering to look at anybody else because they don't. Um, their priority is just to look for passengers. They'll stop, start. Here we've got a truck on the main road. you got the old... Um, Tricycad that just stops, no lights, very normal. Uh, we're going to come between the vehicles now because the bus is actually stopped. And you can see it's quite chaotic all the time. Um, it's actually safer when it's like this. This is uh, near Gazano, uh, a um in, C in Cebu. But this is quite a built up area. As you can see, people will undertake or overtake to get to the front of traffic as well. Um, the rules of the road are basically, there are no rules. Um, the bigger the vehicle, the more you push around. So we're now stuck at the traffic lights and we'll just wait for the policewoman sat in that little cupboard, uh, that little, what do you call it, shed, to change the switches on the traffic lights because she actually controls them from in there and we're off again. Now as you come along here you'll see there's police on the right hand side. There has been some robberies along here um, and that's probably why they were there but then people were complaining that money was being taken by the police <laughs> so I'm not saying anything. Um, we're now going to head up and over what used to be the Tabernacle Market. Um, this is an interesting thing because this cost the, well, allegedly this cost the last mayor his job because he got rid of this market area. Um, they basically tried to sell the land and the deal didn't go through. But as you can see, it's heavily used. So when they took the market away, then put it back about a month before the election, the people didn't forget because. Um, a lot of people's livelihoods were ruined there. They moved the market further away and it's two rides for people. Where normally they'd hop off the bus on the main road, they then had to get another bus, uh, another tricycle up to the markets. As such, it was cost them twice as much to go there, so they just didn't bother. Um, didn't do them any favours and didn't do the mayor any favours either. But now here we go. We got the normal tricycle that is just going to pull out regardless. He he has a quick look on the off chance that he's going to just push his way out. These BMXs that you see doing the deliveries, you'll see them in the dark, 11, 12 o'clock at night on the uh, the big roads. Oh, here we go. This is a bus. Buses block the road from each other to stop each other getting the passengers in front. So they'll actually forcefully block the road on purpose. And as you can see, if you've got a gap, you push through. You don't stop, you push through. <laughs> um, and this bit, which coming up to, is where they did put a, a little police station in. Um, because people were robbing the jeepneys and stuff here, then just going under the bridge. There's like a um, little shanty town underneath there. That's the police station there, look. And that's, they were complaining about money going missing, let's put it that way. Being asked to donate or whatever. <laughs> put whatever phrasing you like on it yeah you see you can see there's big shanty under there and that's why they had to put that police station there because when they were getting robbed go under there no chance of seeing who did it just after uh, the rainy season as you can see the river's full and I'll I might crop this and add some other videos because we're on the straight run home now. So now we've got a multi cab on the left hand side, going to turn left. It's got no lights, not signaling with his arm, just slowed down and stopped. That is normal. Um, happens all the time. It's just the way it is. Um, it's not, not so busy going up here at the minute. As you can see, motorcycles shooting across out of a junction, very normal. 
buses stop in the middle of the road opposite a junction very normal and we've just gone through some smog which is where it flared up there you can see the motorbikes quite close between the, the well there's a pedestrian <laughs> just walked out in front of the motorbike that was between the park vehicle and the truck that stuff is very normal this is why you see people get caught you know um, between two vehicles and we're about to be cut up by the bus because we've got somebody reversing onto the main road all normal stuff traffic lights here sometimes work sometimes don't well sorry sometimes work normally don't um, and this in Mingla Nila this is getting to where we have a bit of a dangerous spot this is just outside the school so what you have is a lot of people coming out at the same time this is more of the a public school but the little one that we're just about to come to is the pain and you can tell it's a pain because it's a private school here we go cars decided it wants to go over there now because trying to jump the queue or the cars that are on the outside cause a load of congestion got double car parts here every day they're like that illegally parked all the time double part multi cab there as well people just don't care um, it's, it's just stuff to be aware of because if you're used to stuff being a specific way you know the US is as um, particular with it as the UK is that everything's done a certain way or we just fine you um, Philippines generally it's a free-for-all most of the time you've you've probably seen a number of the police and we've actually passed well nobody has that speed cameras nobody's monitoring somebody in a way that actually says right I've got you I'm gonna give you a ticket that way they'll catch you at traffic lights to issue a ticket for a smoke belching or uh, to buy somebody a coffee in the morning <laughs> but generally that's that's this stuff there I think I'll do a second video which is far worse than this one because um, I'll clip out the bits where we nearly got involved in about five accidents in one day. Um, when I say nearly involved, I'm talking about emergency braking nearly. <laughs> well, we were emergency braking. But yeah, we're almost home now. And I know we're just as bad. The anchor's actually taking me up the inside lane. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's not even a lane. It's just the... Uh, I don't even know what they use it for. I mean, it's, it's not wide enough for a car might be even be a footpath when there's no footpath size does matter as you'll see here because this is a big 4x4 and we're a little motorbike they just push you out of the way um, that's pretty much the rule of the road in the Philippines if you've got a bigger vehicle you just push people around to suit yourself buses again as you can see causing the chaos you got tricycad going up the road the wrong way there as well. Uh, I don't know if you've seen them on the right. And you, this bus is probably going to be stopped somewhere along here. Pedestrian between all the cars. Here it can be quite busy. Got vehicles turning left. Pedestrians in amongst the vehicles. You can see, you can see why people get run over. Um, okay, fair enough. It's you need a safe place to cross there often isn't <laughs> sad to say but it's true um, there's a tricycle cab going the wrong side up, uh, wrong way up the, the road normal I nearly got a head on crash in, at night in a blackout because as I was doing a u-turn there was a motorbike come up the wrong side of the road with no lights on in total darkness <laughs> I had my lights on I had to ditch the bike I had to drop the bike flat otherwise I'd have smacked into him head on there we go tries to get overshooting the junction because it's sort of like overshooting to see if there's a big enough gap just to push his way out or somebody's emergency <laughs> braking to let him go through that's why when I say to people um, they look they just go anyway because uh, I know we look and then if it's not clear we stop they will look and then go anyway it's more like the oh you've seen me so it's fine <laughs> and that's why they get involved in some pretty serious accidents because if somebody's coming along there about 60 70 miles an hour um, that's why they get killed but this is why I said in a busy area 
it's not so bad. When you get out on the more provincial roads, that's where it gets dangerous because you've got the speed. 